Hi guys, um, I actually haven't filmed a plan with me in a very long time so I decided to do one for this week since I have some fun things going on but I'm gonna try um, this horizontal planner um, for once. I bought this and I have never really used it. It's pretty empty um, just because I'm a vertical girl so I'm just gonna try this horizontal layout I have and then I bought one of these kits a while back. Um, from Lily and Miko Designs and I'm just gonna try it out so um, I'm not really sure how this layout is gonna look just because I've never actually planned in a horizontal planner before um, but yeah I'm just gonna do this little flip through for you here to see what she offers in her kit I got this I like I think I got this oh this is a birthday kit um, I'm not sure why I bought it, probably because I thought it was cute or something, but yeah, I really like the um, numbers with the balloons. We got some glitter headers and some, I guess these are full boxes. Yeah, because maybe it's not like big enough. Like I said, I don't really know how to plan in a horizontal planner, but um, let's get started. All right. So um, because I don't really know how to plan in a horizontal planner, um, the first thing I usually do is go for the easy stuff, which would be the top washi. And um, I guess this type of planner doesn't have a bottom washi. So then I started putting down the date covers. And here I go um, putting down the, I guess, like dividing washi for each day just because I'm trying to like get a feel of what to do with these type of stickers. This is, I, I planned in a horizontal planner before, but I've never decorated one. All I did was like do my chicken scratch in it, I guess. So I'm kind of learning how to use these stickers. And if you've seen my other videos, I tend to use my little tweezer tool for um, these more skinny stickers. I mean, I use them for all my stickers that I place, but I find it very helpful for these skinnier, small stickers because sometimes you can't really see where you're placing them with your fingers if they're kind of big, I guess. Um, but using the tweezers really helps um, with your vision so you could kind of see exactly where you're placing it because I am a little bit of a perfectionist. So I just like to be able to like see everything I'm putting down. And so here I'm trying to figure out where I want the weekend banner to go. So I'm just like playing around with it. And I thought I wanted it in the middle between Saturday and Sunday, but it just, I didn't really like the way it looked bit there. So I moved it to just like Saturday. And then I placed down a payday corner sticker on Monday because that's when I get paid. And then um, I'm just putting down checklist flags. So the weekend gets the smaller flags and then the weekdays gets the longer flags. So at this point, I'm just trying to play with the full boxes because some of them have the text happy birthday on it. And because this week wasn't anyone's birthday, I was trying to avoid it and not put that in my planner, even though it's like full of balloons and stuff. But um, I do use the blue sticker there and it does say happy birthday in the middle of it. So I cover it up with this cake sticker um, just so it just looks like a cake instead of celebrating someone's birthday. Um, the reason why I used this kit for this week was because I wanted to use it before this planner ended at the end of the year and then um, I wouldn't have a use for it anymore. So I figured I might as well just use it now and then like see how I like it because I never actually tried planning in this planner. I bought it and then I just never really used it. Uh, but yeah, that's the story behind that. And here I'm just um, filling in Friday. We did do a... Uh, like a Christmas work party mystery cruise dinner. That was the first one we ever did and it was pretty fun. Um, and now I'm just writing in ice cream museum that we went to in LA. Um, it's pretty late to the game. I guess a lot of people have gone to it already, um, but my brother's girlfriend got tickets. So I said, why not? So we went there and then I wrote down Japan planning cause it's like a little pun cause we have to plan for Japan, so we call it Japanning. Yeah, I thought that was a little funny. <laughs> um, and then I'm just 
filling in the the days basically of what I did because this is a little bit of back planning since this already occurred and um, just filling in what I did for the days. So at this point, I'm just filling in the giveaway information that I help run on the Planner Girl exclusive Facebook group. Um, I do do the um, giveaways for PGE. Um, so all the giveaways that we have going on on Facebook and Instagram is all handled by me and um, one of the other admins. But yeah, I'm just writing in like when the giveaway starts, when the giveaway ends and whatnot. Um, if you guys want to join that, um, look at our Instagram and Facebook for a bunch of giveaways. So after I filled out all the basic information, I'm pulling out my Target Dollar Spot Binder that I got. And um, it's just made out of half size sheet cardstock paper and I just um, washi taped all my stickers to it. Um, if you saw my older videos, I did use photo albums, like the little mini cheap dollar ones, but because they were in so many different photo albums, um, it was hard for me to find exactly what I was looking for. I was constantly flipping through each album trying to find it, but I find that this system is a lot better for me to find which stickers I'm looking for because it's all in one spot and I can organize it specifically with the little tabs I made um, that you could buy at Target too. Uh, I just cut them in half and then I just wrote specifically like which category I want to put it in and it's very cost effective. Um, it's just cardstock paper and washi tape and the little tabs. So um, I really enjoy this system. But here I go with putting in little um, decoration stickers that go along with what I had. I usually try to find the little emotion stickers that go with what I'm doing or an activity sticker. And I have tons of food stickers because I'm a foodie. So I always try to find stickers that go with what I had for dinner or lunch and whatnot. Um, these shops range from Bubble Mon stickers, um, Once More With Love, Fox and Cactus, um, some of these stickers are mine like this Netflix and Chill TV sticker, the Little Mermaid sticker is mine, um, and I think Coffee Monster Co. might be in this one as well. But yeah, those are usually the main shops that I go for. So at this point, I'm just putting on the last touches, I guess, um, like the little corner flag washi thing there. And then um, I'm just looking at my leftover stickers to see what else I can do. There's a thankful thought box at the bottom. So I just wrote like a short thing. It says, find the true happiness at the bottom. And I just put that there and just like filling it up with glitter headers. Um, I'm basically just trying to like fill up the empty white space. So here's like a little crown deco. And then what did I put here? Um, a flag. And it says 31, oh, I think I wrote, okay, yeah. 31 days left until Japan. So um, I, that's like a little hype up countdown for us since we are going to Japan in January. So that's exciting. And then a little like happy stickers in the bottom there. And that's about it. So um, thank you guys for planning along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.